Let's learn another animation technique today. Let us take a new file. And today we are going to learn how to rotate an object or a symbol in Flash. I'm just taking that state size as 800 by 600. And let us save the file and name it as rotation with motion twin. We will see how to rotate an object using motion twin. Let's click save to save the file. And now I'm just taking that one star shape, select the polystar tool and go to the options and select that shape as star and just changing that properties and click OK. Now we just need to draw the shape and the stage. I'm just changing the stroke color and fill color. Let's draw the star and the stage. All right, we have star in the stage. Select this shape and apply motion twin. And we just need to convert the symbol to apply that motion twin. Click OK. We have 24 frames duration in the timeline. And now select the duration, go to the top this panel. We have an option called rotate. And we just need to define that number of rotations there. Then we need to choose the direction as we require. I'm just increasing the duration to 60 frames. And I'll just check the preview. We see that two rotations within that are duration. Let's go to that control menu to test it. Now we see continuous rotation of the star symbol. And let's increase the duration to make uh, the animation speed slow. Let's test it again. Now we see a bit slower an animation now. The animation speed is always depends upon the duration and the frame rate. So within the frame rate that we increase the duration and we are decreasing it now to get the same speed. And now let's change the rotations, number of rotations from property panel. It was 2, now it is 1 and changing the direction to CCW which is which means counterclockwise. Now we see the animation in reverse. So the rotation of the object is in reverse. Now I am just copying the frames and paste it after the current duration. Right click and paste frames. Select the duration and go to the properties panel to change the direction to CW which means clockwise. Now first part will help us to get the counterclockwise animation. Second part will help you to see the clockwise and counterclockwise. We see that both the animations, first part was counterclockwise and second part was clockwise. I'm just creating another layer and let's draw a small star top of it to see each object in different uh, directions. I'm just changing the fill color to red and one top of another. I'm taking that object one top of another and let's apply that motion frame from layer 2. Click OK and let's decrease the duration to that same as first part, 50 frames. So first animation was CCW and select the second layer animation and first part, let us make it CW. We can see that both the objects in reverse directions, one is in CCW, one is in CW. Let's copy the duration and let us paste it after the first part of the second layer. And let's select the duration and make it CCW. Now we can see the complete animation in reverse direction. First object goes in one direction and second object goes in reverse direction of the first object. Let's save it and then let us test it now. 
we can see both the objects are getting rotated but in reverse direction this is how that we animate rotation using motion train and we can see the change in speed just by changing that even frame rate also that was 24 by default i changed it to that 18 and then we can see the speed change so this is how that we can animate the rotation property using motion twin in flash let let's see another example using that same motion twin and rotation property i'm just taking that another new file let's save as a rotation sample and just having some graphics in illustrator i'm just going to copy them let us go to that illustrator now i have a nice scenery here which which is having that background and windmills i'm going to animate these fans now using the same rotation property select the background from illustrator copy it and then let's go back to the flash and paste it here We'll just say paste in place. It will be pasted in same place. If not, select the pasted object and let's go to that alignment. Let us make it align center, vertical and horizontal. Let's save this file and let's go back. Let us create another layer and then go back to the illustrator to copy the other objects. Let me select the first windmill of all the objects. Let's say copy and then let's go back to the flash and we need to paste as we pasted the background. Click OK. Now it will paste all the objects in one layer. So, but each object is in separate. You can see that there are three objects middle point fan and then pole let us select the other two even so we just need to select all the parts of the other two let's say copy and we need to go back to flash to paste them there let's say edit and say paste in place now we could see all three windmills here Now we just see that all the three windmills here, but we need to place them in different layers to animate each object. We can't animate different objects in single layer. So we just need to separate them in different layers. Let's see that all the three objects in two layers. So let's select all the fans and then let's create another layer. Let's paste them all in one layer and later we will paste them in separate layers. All right. Let's select the first object and we just need to take this in the different layer. And now I'm just increasing the duration of all the layers to 60. Now select the first object, the object which we want to rotate. Look at that. All the objects are in same layer. We are not supposed to have all the objects in same layer to animate them. Let us take the object, the object which you want to animate, and let us place them in different layer. Let's create a new layer and let's say paste in place. Now we just need to change the layer order. Select the object and right click and create motion tween. Click OK. Now we have keyframe properties. Go to the property panel and change the rotation value to 1. And we could see the rotation based out of the registration point. To change the registration point, select the free transform tool 
and just drag the registration point to the center. Now we can see the preview. The object gets rotated based out of that registration point. Now it's perfect. We have one rotation within that duration. Same way, we just need to select other objects also. Let us place all the poles in different layer. Just cut them and then paste them in different layer. Now select the another object and then we need to follow the same steps to get it rotated. We see that nice clockwise an animation. I'm just selecting the second object. Look at that. Again, these two are in the same layer. Let's cut the se uh, selected object in and put it in different layer. Right, perfect. Let's select the object and say create motion tween. Click OK. Now select the keyframe to get the keyframe properties and go to the properties panel and change the rotation value. By default, which is by default, the direction value is CW and changing the registration point. Now we can see a perfect animation. Both are having the same duration and same number of rotations. Now we can select the third object and we can apply motion twin directly because the third object is in single. So as we followed for other two objects, that same way we can apply that motion twin and change the rotation from property panel and we need to change the registration point of the third object also to rotate it from center or from a particular point. You can see beautiful the three objects are getting rotated one rotation and then same duration let's save the file and then just check the preview all right so nice so we could see that three objects are moving based out of that one registration point now let's select the object and change the rotation angle or direction of the object and then let's see first two are in CW and the third object is in CCW just which means counterclockwise let's say, say change the direction of the first object also let's test it now all right the first and last are in same direction and middle one is in different direction just to see the change and depends upon our requirement that we can select CW or CCW and this is how that we animate an object using rotation. Thank you for watching and have a great day.